The English short I sound is one of the vowel sounds that's hardest for non-native English speakers to hear and produce. It's a sound that doesn't exist in most languages. But the short I is a high frequency sound in English, so pronouncing it incorrectly is noticeable and gives you a foreign sounding accent in English. The short I is the vowel sound in words like big, think, fish, dinner, million, women, and business. The short I is spelled fairly consistently. It's usually spelled with just one I in a syllable. But of course, there are a few common exceptions. But not too many for this sound, so it'll be easy for you to learn the exceptions. And here they are. Occasionally, you'll find the short I spelled with a Y, like in the words system, mystery, and myth. The words live and give are pronounced with a short I sound, but they don't follow the typical spelling rules. Since they're spelled with a final E, they should be pronounced as a long I, like in the word five. So just memorize these common exceptions. Then there are a few unusual words that spell this sound with a U. For example, busy, business, and all forms of build, like built and building. And there are two really common words with very unexpected spellings that are pronounced with the I sound. One is bin. B-E-E-N. This is really unusual. Based on that spelling, we would assume that this word was pronounced bean, as in B-E-A-N. But it's not, so you just need to memorize it. It's pronounced bin. The other really strange word is women. The O in this word is actually pronounced as a short I. Women. Let's talk now about how to correctly pronounce the short I. Well, the short I really isn't necessarily a short sound. That's a little bit confusing. That just happens to be the name that it's given in phonics, which is the system we use to teach people to read English. The most important thing to keep in mind is that the short I is a relaxed sound. All the short vowels in English are relaxed. So to pronounce them, soften all the muscles of your mouth, your face, and your tongue too. Eh. Eh. Notice how relaxed that is? It really doesn't take much effort to pronounce eh. The short I is a front vowel. So the front of your tongue here, touches the inside of your bottom front teeth, like this. See how my tongue is touching my teeth right below here? Eh. Eh. And your mouth is open somewhat. Not a lot, but not a tiny bit either. It's open a little less than midway. Eh. Eh. Most non-native speakers pronounce the short I like they would an I in their language, so it really sounds like E. Now notice how different my mouth looks when I pronounce E. I, E. Big difference, right? That sound for us is actually a long E sound, and we spell that sound with E-E -E or E-A. That E sound is a little bit too tense for our short I. So make sure to keep your mouth loose and your tongue too. Eh. Eh. Now let's try our earlier sample words again to practice. Big. Think. Fish. Dinner. Million. Women. Business. 
By the way, be careful with the word business. It has a dropped middle syllable. Pronounce it with only two syllables. Business. Here are some more practice words that have a short I. Chicken. Minutes. Information. Interesting. Continue. Now let's do some practice sentences with the short I pronunciation. And make sure to pronounce them exactly like I do, including matching my rhythm and melody of the sentence as well. Number one. Which building do you live in? Two. We have 15 minutes till the movie starts. And three, I have a million things to do this week. English vowels are tricky, but it's worth your time to master the most high frequency vowel sounds, like this one, the short I. English is a language that's quite vowel heavy, so mastering new vowel sounds is really important to improving your spoken English. If you'd like some more practice with this sound and other vowel sounds, I suggest taking a look at these videos. Thanks for watching.